I hate to tell you this, but your goal in 2020 might be set up totally wrong. Aren't you sick and tired of setting up a goal or New Year's resolution that you know a few days later, a few months later, you know that you're going to give up? It feels terrible because you think you don't have the willpower, the discipline, and you lose your self-confidence more and more. So how can we find a goal that we can really achieve and follow through? There's a simple formula. You need to set a proper goal and you need to uplift your comfort zone up to the same level of the goal. Let me explain. First off, you need to set the proper goal. And there are three important points that you need to keep in mind. Number one is the most important point. You need to set a goal that is truly what you want. This may sound simple, but most of the people get this completely wrong. They just set a goal that they just kind of want or because everybody's doing it or because your mother, your father told you to be a doctor or a lawyer, whatever. Even if the whole world says no, would you still want to achieve that goal? If that's a yes, that's a goal. You need to be super clear on why you want to achieve that goal. Why do you want to become a famous movie star? Why do you want to become a famous YouTuber? If you don't have that clear answer in your head, there is no way you can achieve that goal. The second point that you need to keep in mind is that the goal has to be something outside of the life you're living right now. The reason why is because the person who you are right now is built from the past habits and mindsets. And if you set a goal within the life you're living right now, that's accepting the past and who you are right now. And any kind of goal, for example, if you're working in a company and trying to be a manager or director, that is not a goal. If you continue the work you're doing right now and you think that's reachable, you don't call that a goal because you're just using your conscious mind, right? It, and what we want to do is not have a goal that is an extension of the life you're living right now. You need to build a goal that is outside of your normal life. For example, if you're working in a company and want to become a singer, that's a goal. Because no matter how much you continue working, you will never be a singer, right? So that's outside of your normal life. Or becoming a millionaire, you need, maybe you need to change your company, you need to do something else. Set a goal that is outside of your normal life. Keep in mind that we want to use our subconscious mind. Only 5% of our brain is used consciously and the rest of the 95% is used subconsciously. If you set up a goal that is just a stretch that you're doing right now, your subconscious mind will just do the same thing that it did yesterday. We don't want to do that. We want to set a goal outside of the life we're living right now to activate the subconscious mind in a more creative way. But I'll get to this later. So after you set up a goal that is truly what you want and outside of the life you're living, you need to keep in mind who you want to share your goal with. If you have a strong mentality and personality that once you burn the bridge and tell every single person that you have this goal and you want to achieve it, and you have this unstoppable belief that you can achieve that, then please share it to every single person. But if you don't have that personality, I suggest that you keep your goal to yourself in the initial stage at least. There's always these up and downs when you try to achieve this goal. When you're struggling or getting discouraged on achieving that goal, then your goal that you truly want turns into an obligation. And we don't want to do that. We want to build that momentum first. So after you build that momentum, gradually share it to the people you trust. So once you set that goal that you truly want and set a goal that is outside of the life you're living and you carefully select the people who you share that goal with, that's only half of the work done. And most people will suffer achieving that goal if you don't know the most important part. And that is to lift up your comfort zone to the same level of your goal. Let me explain. You have to keep in mind that the reality outside is created from the reality inside first. The thoughts, the words that you say to yourself. The thoughts you have inside create the reality outside. It's inside out. If you want to achieve that bold goal, you first need to become what you want to become. And all the top athletes and the highly successful people know this. You might think that they put in the effort and got the result and that's why they became that kind of mindset. No, it's not like that. They have the mindset. They become what they want to become first. As Tony Robbins phrased it, you need to raise your standards. You need to raise your comfort zone. What is the comfort zone? Let me give you an example. If a poor mindset person wins a million dollars, what will happen? Since the comfort zone is so low and he gets a bonus one million dollars as a reality, what happens is that since the comfort zone is over here, he tries to attract, pull in the reality into the comfort zone subconsciously. Same thing goes with a lazy worker, right? If the boss asks this person to do a challenging task, what will happen is that since the comfort zone is here, he will think of so many creative ideas to reject this offer. 
that's the power of the comfort zone, right? You try to pull in the reality to your comfort zone. So what we want to do here is to lift up the comfort zone to the exact same level as the goal so that whatever reality is in front of you, you could subconsciously lift up the reality to the exact same level of the comfort zone. That's what we're going to do. We want to use our subconscious mind that is covering the 95% of the brain. And in order to lift up the comfort zone, we need to do two things. One is to build up an environment. What do I mean by this? The easiest way to get better at anything, to achieve a goal, is to find a mentor, right? But we all know that we can't find a mentor that easily, right? If you want to have Tim Robbins as your mentor, you need to have the money to fly over to U.S. and join the seminar or have a one-on-one -on -one coach session. It will cost a lot of money, I think. But on the internet, most of the things are for free. So if you find a good role model that has already achieved what you want to achieve, you can just consume their information on the internet every single day. Feed your mind with positive things that makes you more closer to achieve your goal. The second point is the most difficult part that most of us never do, and that's affirmation. Telling yourself what you want to become in present tense is so powerful. Words are so powerful, right? Because in the beginning was the word. Tell yourself, I am a famous singer, I am a millionaire, whatever you want. But just saying I am XYZ is not enough. It's really not enough because just say to yourself, I am a millionaire. It will not make sense at all because it's like it feels like you're telling a lie. It might not be a future lie, but it's a present lie, right? So you really feel discomfort. And just by saying that word, it's really not enough. You need to add emotional feelings on top of that. For example, I am a singer. I am so proud of myself. I feel so grateful. I am impacting the world and I love my fans and I feel so thankful for them. I am so fulfilled, blissed, whatever. Once you add that feeling, your comfort zone will become a much, much more reality. It feels so real. And the important point is to make your comfort zone so real. That's how you trick your brain. That's how you uplift your comfort zone to the same level of the goal. And once you achieve that, once the goal and your comfort zone, the self-confidence, the self-belief, the self-love, you feel like you're in the state that you already achieved that goal. Once that happens, your subconscious mind will be extremely creative to fill in the missing links. That's when miracles starts to happen. Whenever the subconscious mind finds the reality, the dissatisfying reality, it tries to pull it up to the comfort zone. That we want to use this power in order to achieve the dream. I think every single person on this earth had some genius inside them. But the pity is 99% die with regret. Not fulfilling their dreams, not fulfilling their goals, not fulfilling their passion in life. And I think the reason is because they don't know what they want. And even if they find what they want, since the comfort zone is so low, they easily give up. They think that they're not cut out for it. But once they find out what they truly want, in a Japanese proverb they say that you want it so bad that a fan comes out of your mouth. Only then you could start lifting up your comfort zone and live in the state of mind that you already achieved that goal. You're feeling that goal. You're really tasting it. No matter how shitty the reality is, you're pulling it up by your subconscious mind. Let's refuse settling. Let's stop being mediocre. Let's find the greatness within us that we all have and start grabbing the dream life we want to become more happy and more fulfilled. If you want to find your purpose in life, the next video to watch is this. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Joey and this channel is all about self-development tips to change your mindset and change your life. So if this sounds good to you, please consider subscribing. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.